Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. About two months ago, the Chinese manufacturer Verney released its new smartphone called Verney X. It is a very interesting device with 6-inch full screen, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and 6200 mAh battery. Now we received information about new smartphone called Verney X1. To be honest, it looks like Verney X and specification are almost the same. So what's the point of new phone? I suggest you to make first review of Verney X1 and then find the main differences between these phones. All Verney phones come in similar white boxes. There is a company logo and blue sticker with model number on the front panel. Inside the box you can find Verney X1, black silicon case, adapter from USB Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack, USB cable, power adapter, user manual, and even protective film on the screen. The package is very good, but it doesn't differ from Verney X. The previous phone has all the same accessories. As for the design, Verney X1 comes with 6-inch display with 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The bezels around the screen are not so thin, however, it is good for budget phone. For example, Redmi 5 Plus has the same bezels. On the front panel there is a dual camera, earpiece, and other sensors. The smartphone uses on-screen buttons. The back panel has dual camera, flash, and fingerprint reader. It seems the rear panel is made of made metal, which is pleasant to touch. At the bottom there is a USB Type-C port and speaker. The smartphone doesn't have 3.5mm audio jack, so the manufacturer added adapter in the package. If we compare Verney X1 and Verney X, I don't see any differences. These are the same phones. This is very strange. As for the display, Verney X1 is equipped with 6-inch Full HD Plus display, 2160 by 1080 pixels. The aspect ratio is 18 by 9, while the screen to body ratio is about 83%. I cannot say that this is a bezel-less phone, because there are bezels on sides and top bottom. However, it is pretty comfortable to use 6-inch display with one hand, thanks to 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The hardware is another highlight of new phone. It is powered by Helio P23 chipset, 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Here we can see the main differences between Verney X1 and Verney X. The new phone comes with 64 gigs of internal memory, while the previous model had 128 gigs of storage. Both phones support microSD memory cards up to 128 gigs. Verney X1 should score about 66,000 points in Antutio, which is very good for $250 phone. It provides good performance for latest Android games and apps. You can find many gaming reviews Verney X on YouTube. A new phone Verney X will have the same performance. By the way, new phone runs on Android 8.1 operating system out of the box. The main software feature is Face ID recognition. You can unlock the phone with your face. The manufacturer says it takes about 0.2 seconds to unlock the screen. And again, Verney X1 has the same camera as Verney X. On the back panel there is 16 megapixel main sensor and 5 megapixel secondary sensor. The front panel has 13 and 5 megapixel sensors. As you can see, there are 4 cameras in total. I want to show you real sample photos of Burney X, but new smartphone Burney X1 has the same cameras, so it will have the same camera performance. The smartphone is equipped with 6200 mAh battery. It sounds impressive. Some people say that Verne X1 is battery phone, and I am agree with them. The phone provides great battery life. The tests show, after 5 hours of gaming, the battery level drops to 64%. It says that you will have at least 12 hours of gaming, and it is amazing. So, as you can see, the main difference between Verne X1 and Verne X is the amount of internal memory. The new phone has 64 gigs compared to 128 gigs of previous version. I'm not sure it is a big reason to release new smartphone under new name. However, Verney knows better what to do. In general, Verney X1, just like Verney X, is a good phone with perfect performance, amazing battery and decent cameras. By the way, the next week's Verney X1 will cost only $209.99. I think it is a good price for this phone. In description you can find links where to buy smartphone cheaper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.